Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Kevin. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by to check out this lesson. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. If you are a subscribed, welcome back for this lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to go over this new unreleased song by Morgan Wallen. It is Keith Whitley. We are tuned down a half step, so you'll need to tune down each one of your strings, half step down inscription. I put down what each string needs to be tuned to. And the chords for this one, we have a G, C add nine, E minor seven, a D, and then we'll have this D over F sharp, which I'm just reaching around with my thumb to catch this uh, low E on the second fret. Or you can do that uh, D over F sharp this way, which is my index finger on the low E of the second, and then I'm putting my middle finger onto the G of the second, and then of course your ring finger is gonna be on the B of the third. You can do a D over F sharp that way. And then we'll have A minor. Now I believe that is all the chords. If I missed anything, we'll pick it up as we go. Um, let's get zoomed in and I'll, I'll break it down for you. All right, we're going to start out in G and you'll have this little lick right here going on. For this G chord, I'm putting my middle finger on the low E of the third, and my um, ring finger will be on the B string of the third. So I'm picking the low E, low E, D, G string. Then you can pick that G string, hammer on to that G string of the second fret. Then you're going to play the D string, then play that G string again. All right, then you're going to put your index finger on the G string of the second, and then you're going to hammer on to the G string of the fourth with your uh, pinky. D string again, and then you're going to play that uh, open G string. Sorry. And you're going to hammer on to that D string of the second, play that D string, open G. Everything up there slow. So after that open G, go to the back to the uh, B string on that second fret. that's making sense for you it's kind of hard for me to explain it when i'm trying to play it slow but hopefully i can play it slow enough so you can kind of pick up what i'm doing so again the intro slow Then when you start singing, uh, you just be going back and forth between that uh, G and that C. So the verse will go this way. Okay, for the verse, um, you're going back and forth between the G and a C. And that G shape you had on your intro for the C, just take that middle finger and bring it down to the A string of that third fret for your C chord. And it's going to be basically the same picking pattern. So you have that G. Then C. 
see, just bring that finger down to the A string of the um, third fret and you'll start there. different there on that little ending. You're going to be hitting that A string on that third fret. Then it's repeats. Back to, back to G. And stay on that G. G, you have this little pre chorus. It's going to be E minor, 7, D, that C at 9, then back to D. So that verse again, slow. Strong painter is going to be down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. All right, and the course will go this way. Course, it's going to be C or C I nine, G, D, then C I nine, G, then D, then E minor seven. D over F sharp, C at 9, you're just going to do this little walk down, which is almost like the E minor 7 chord, you just want to put your middle finger on that D string of the 2nd fret, then you go on down to the A minor, then we have a C, then the chorus will end on D, so... sharp, C at 9, walk down, A minor, and then just goes back to the little intro. So that chorus one more time. And that is it. If you got any questions, just leave a comment and answer back. And I'm sure I'll probably do a little a short of um, or me playing with the song. Um, so you can check that out, the link in the description uh, once I do that. If you got any, like I said, if you got any questions, just leave a comment and answer back. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this lesson. And as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.